Hi, my name is Crystal. I'm working for Sierra Wireless. Um, over here, this is a demonstration of our Advantage M2M Cloud. Advantage M2M Cloud um, offer a device management application and an M2M platform that helps company to integrate the machine data into their backend system or create new application. This is the user interface of the Advantage uh, service. Over here, we have a company, Eclo, which is a botanical company who has uh, greenhouses in several countries in Europe. And in each greenhouse, they would like to be able to monitor the temperature, light, and humidity of the soil. And on the other hand, they would also like to be able to send commands to control the doors and the watering system in each greenhouse. In this demo, we show two ways to send the sensor data to the server of Advantage. On this side, you have the open Picus board, which consists of a very small microprocessor that sends the sensor data using the MQTT protocol to the server with the Air Prime HL module. On this side, we send also the same um, sensor data using our Airlink gateway, GX400, a 3G gateway, which consists of an embedded application framework, Alios, that allows um, us to write an application to perform more complicated tasks locally. Once we um, have a machine data sent to the server, we'll be able to use the interface to um, review, for example, the deployment status uh, by the firmware and application. I want to know what are the devices that use this application. And since all the widgets are interactive, I can click onto this pie slide and get the list out in a system view. And then I can apply different device management actions on them. I would like to upgrade the firmware on all these devices by checking them out and apply a synchronization and then firmware upgrade or install a new embedded application. So it's really simple, centralized and always done over the air. Of course, it's nice to be able to review the state, um, the health um, of the greenhouses, but it would be better if I can be notified when there is a problem. So um, you can create alerts. So over here, I have actually created two alerts. Whenever the temperature is over 50 degrees, I will receive an email notification or when the humidity is dropped below 50%. The same alerts can be integrated uh, using our API into um, the support backend system. If there is a problem in one greenhouse, we want to know more about what's going on inside. This is the detailed system view. I can see uh, what uh, alert has been raised, the last operations and the locations, and the communication status. And I can also see the temperature and luminosity and the humidity information that has been um, sent to our server. To um, facilitate the troubleshooting, we can also use another view, which is the timeline, which allows us to access to every single communication between the device and the server. The user interface is very practical for companies' support team to maintain because they can upgrade their firmware, they can upgrade their embedded application, but it might not be the user interface that uh, you want to show to your end customer because you just want to uh, capture those uh, business data and use it inside your own application or backend. In that case, you can make use of uh, REST APIs and send this data, integrate them into your own system. This is a quick uh, demo of our M2M Cloud. If you are interested to find out more, uh, we offer a free trial uh, online and you'll be able to uh, find uh, the URL from our own website and as well as uh, in this video. Thank you.